Hello and welcome to Whistler Olympic Park. My name is Clayton Whitman and I'm going to take you on a tour of the 3 km summer biathlon course. Our course gets started at the exit to the range. We're going to go past the penalty loop, turning right around the tunnel, and then turning to the left to leave the stadium. For those of you familiar with our Olympic trails or the biathlon trails in the winter, you'll notice that we're going to take the other way out of the stadium and head away from biathlon towards the cross-country trails. Heading past some wax cabins on our right, we're going to come to our first downhill section, a straightaway downhill with a little bit of a bend to the right at the end of it. Turning to the right here, we go on to a, our Nordic Combined Trail and head into a little bit of a rolling up and down straightaway section. Coming out of the rolling section, you'll notice the road into the Biathlon Stadium on your right as we begin our first climbing section on the course, an uphill at the end of the Nordic Combined Trail, which is going to lead to a 180 degree turn back down the hill. Reaching the top of our first hill, we turn 180 degrees to the left and proceed to come back down the hill. It's going to be another straight downhill bending to the right as we get to the bottom. Picking up speed, we make our turn to the right. Heading into a turn to the left, leading into a little chicane section here which is going to switch us from the Nordic Combined Trail onto the Neverland Trail. We now come to our second uphill section of the course, leading along the Neverland Trail up to the bridge that heads right over to the Cross Country Stadium. As we come to the top of our second hill, we're going to approach our junction between the 2 kilometer and the 3 kilometer course. For the 3 kilometer course, we're going to turn right here, head over the bridge, and head towards the cross country stadium. And here we come into the Cross Country Stadium. On the left you'll see the Olympic rings for cross country. As we enter a long flat section here through the stadium. We're going to bend to the right. go past the cross-country wax cabins here before we bend to the left and avoid the cross-country finish. Coming through the stadium here you'll see a few of the mini mudder, uh, tough mudder obstacles set up for people that try in the pub in the summer. 
a wall and some tires and some tubes and things like that left over from the tough mudder going past a cross-country technical building on the right and approaching a little uphill and left section that will do a 180 and come down the hill you can see on the left now we're at the top of the hill coming to the left we're gonna go back down the hill we just came up and back through the cross-country stadium we'll pick up a little bit of speed for our straightaway here coming down bending to the right just like the finish for the cross-country races we're gonna go through to the end of the cross-country stadium before we head back over to the biathlon trails Leaving the cross-country stadium here, we're going to make a left-hand turn, head back towards the bridge, and meet back up where, with where we left off the two-kilometer course. As we take a right turn here, back along the Neverland Trail, we're going to head up a little bit of a hill before we get into our last section, before we climb back all the way up into the Biathlon Stadium. Coming to the top of this little hill, we're going to head down and to the right. Picking up speed, we're going to enter a little uphill section here. As we head to the left, we'll notice some of the Olympic cross-country trails on our right, along with an old camera placement for the cross-country trails from the Olympics. Coming to the top of that little hill, we enter into our last little bit of downhill here as we pick up some speed for the final climb up into the Biathlon Stadium, which is just up ahead on our left here. And we're just coming to the top of our final hill section on the course. As we get back into the Biathlon Stadium, we're going to re-enter by the penalty loop here, just taking half a circle of the penalty loop to get back on joining the course right where we started. Coming around, we'll exit the penalty loop and come to a junction between the range and the finish. On this lap, we're going to go to the range. So as we come around the tunnel here, we're going to stick to the right and enter the range this way. On our left, we have our biathlon building. 
We have a brown fence where the spectators were located in the Olympics. We're going to continue along this straight, along this white fence, and when we get to the end, we're going to do a 180 degree turn back into the range for our shooting bout. Here we come into the range. We have our Olympic rings for biathlon on the left, our 30 lane range. On the right, you see some clubs training for biathlon. And on the left, we're going to pass the Windsor Olympic Park's public shooting program. As we exit the range, the pen of the loop is to your left. And now as we go around the tunnel, on this lap, we're going to go to the finish. So instead of going right to the range, if you want to go to the finish, stay to the left. Come around this bend to the right here. And passing the timing office in the biathlon building on your left, we're going to cross the finish line right around here. And that's our three-kilometer summer biathlon course.